Hey kids, Brian Trauman here, Pez Through the Ages. We've got a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, and some of the 90s Star Wars dispensers. Uh, these are the vintage ones. This is as old as you get on Star Wars. There's nothing in here that is remarkably valuable, except for a couple of test pieces I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, these are, are mainly in the dollar bin, the 25 cent bin. The ones here on the stands are gonna be in the 10 to 15 range. Uh, some of the crystals, maybe two to three dollars, but that's about it. Uh, these I'm gonna I'm gonna do a series of videos on the Star Wars dispenser, so you can check and see what you got. I'll go through some variations, uh, and you feel free to post pictures in the comments on the Facebook group Pez Through the Ages of additional variations that you have. Like there's another stormtrooper that I don't have. <coughs> Excuse me, um, and I'd love to see what you've got. So let's start in 1997 is when a lot of this stuff comes out. Some of these I'm mixed in also 98, 99. This guy I'd say comes out in 2001, but John Laspina's got it in the book for uh, Clone Trooper in 1999. It does have a copyright here of 2001, but I'll, so I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, but you'll watch the next videos for more. So Boba Fett... There's going to be a new Boba Fett this year. It's already out in some places. I don't have it yet. But the new, sorry, the old Boba Fett comes out in 1997. And you can see there are at least two different versions here. There's two in the book. There's the gray and the grayish green. You decide which is which. I'm not going to go through patents and all that. There's Hungary, there's China, there's Slovenia. There's all kinds of stuff represented here. Where relevant, I will talk about the marks on the back here. Can I get some focus? That says Lucasfilms Limited, and so does this. Most of them are going to be Lucasfilms Limited, just like you see here. There are a bunch over here I'll show you that are a little different and harder to find. And then the newest ones are going to, the, uh, no, that one still is. Some of them are going to be LFL for standing for Lucasfilms Limited. Anyway, that's Boba Fett. C-3PO, here's your standard C-3PO. Um, uh, there's uh, there's not much to say about Mr. C. There are a couple of different variations, certainly in the area of the copyrights, the sleeves. There's Lucasfilms Limited again. There's a version that my girlfriend in uh, 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 law school gave me with a little bit of a mohawk. And this here is a test piece, all white. This one's got the newer LFL on the back. I don't know why a test piece would have the later one. It seems to me that's probably not a test piece and rather something made in the same mold. In uh, This comes out post-90s. This is from a more recent tin, but it's the same mold, uh, also with the LFL indicating the later release. That's cool. Crystal came with a Crystal Yoda B, which I won't show you, a Crystal Darth Vader there, and uh, Crystal R2-D2. In 2003, we get the same guy and the same 97 Lucasfilm Limited uh, copyright on the back, but we get it in all gold. You can see it's different uh, stem and head, and it comes non-footed on this stand. Those were sold in a box, uh, three different boxes, and you can see Darth Vader and Yoda here. Late 2003, I got mine Christmas of 2003 or early 2004 as a gift. Uh, and you get them on Pez.com. Later, those same ones came out uh, without the stand, but just non-footed in bags at uh, one of the dollar store type of places. So that's C-3PO. Uh, you know what? I'll pull this guy out, and I'll show you. This is the difference. This one has Lucasfilm LTD in a different font, and the LTD is all caps. That's the harder one to find. Check your collection if you have that. Maybe it's worth five bucks. But that's about it. Here is uh, Chewy, Lucasfilm Limited on the back. There's a, there's a newer version that we're just going to call Wookie, and I'll show you that. I'll bring out the other collection in a little while, a different video to show you. And here it is with the bigger LTD, all caps, 3 to $5 instead of a dollar or two. Here's Clone Trooper. I'm convinced this didn't come out in the 90s, but again, it's in John's book for that. There are going to be, so distinguished from the Stormtrooper, this is the Clone Trooper. And I think there are a couple of versions with different size or different color uh, strips over here. Post your pictures since I don't have mine. Darth Vader, I have quite a few, including this plaster 
or resin uh, headpiece here. Doesn't have any markings on the back to indicate the copyright. Uh, this bubbles typically indicate that it's legitimate as opposed to after factory type of, uh, of mold. The, let's see, here's the original Darth Vader. Same kind of thing. We have, again, we've got the capital LTD over here. This is going to be the lowercase LTD right there. There's a Darth Vader B that's somewhat hard to distinguish, and I'll compare that when I bring them out later. Uh, but there's also, a little bit later on, there's the shinier version. This one dull, this one shiny, but they're both going to be the Lucasfilms Limited. We get the same type of thing in the box. Instead of gold and shiny like C-3PO, we get it in this smoky cloudy crystal on a non-foot stem. Again, sold later without the stand. Uh, this one, very similar to it, with feet, comes out in the tin with some of the other crystals a little bit later on in the 2000s. And then there's this guy with the clear stem, which is a bit of a, I don't know, a test piece, a backdoor item, something I got from somebody who knows somebody in Slovenia where this was manufactured. The stem is really the valuable part here. Uh, Darth Vader. Ewok. Nothing much to say about these little creatures. They come out in the 90s as well. The Ewoks are in 98. Again, we're looking at a dollar or less for one of these things. Only one Ewok, and I'm not sure which one that guy is. Luke Skywalker. I didn't know that this was Luke. I just thought it was some guy. This is before I really understood that this was the rebel symbol. I don't know how I missed that growing up, but I get it now totally get it. Anyway, there are a number of variations of this guy that are mostly errors. You know, strips missing, or stripes missing on the side, these things printed on the glasses, missing glasses. There's a uh, rumor that there's a, well, there are ones with clear glasses instead of yellow, but those, uh, are they test pieces? Was it an error? Were they ever sold uh, to the retail public? I couldn't tell you. But that's Luke, comes out in 98. And so does his sister, what? Spoiler alert, Princess Leia. And she's got the Lucasfilm here on her head. There it is. That's Princess Leia, one version of her. Now, we're all the way over here to the Stormtroopers. Clearly, you can see some, some of the plastic deteriorates over time. This one I actually picked up more recently. Uh, and it's a, it's a newer one. It's a 7.5 Hungary, whereas this is way back in the 4.9 range actually from a uh, European manufacturer. Let's see, that's one that'd be probably Hungary. Uh, you can see a difference here with black and blue. There are also gonna be gray ones. Please, again, post your picture if you've got something different than what I have. And lastly is Yoda. Took uh, a little bit, John still has not revised his book. There's a Yoda A and a Yoda B. The Yoda A has uh, no neck. I'll show you the neck version in my next video where we'll talk about the more recent Star Wars dispensers. Uh, but Yoda A, I have in two distinct colors. I got John to include that in the book. You've got greenish lighter and greenish bright. I think that's how he's distinguished it. Uh, go ahead and ignore the one with the mini stem. That's gonna be Yoda B. And uh, greenish darker, I think uh, that's gonna be Yoda B as well. We'll compare them all in a little bit. And this is the third of the three, $10 to $15 a piece these days. I think they were more back in the late 90s. Star Wars uh, information here on the back. And Yoda over here has the capital LTD. Again, you're going to find this guy uh, solo in bags with a piece of candy. And then there's this, again, a test piece. Let's take a look on the back. This one at least has the 97 Lucasfilms Limited instead of the big uh, LFL, which indicates that this was indeed earlier. This I got at a separate time than the, this, this white C-3PO I got in the last year or so with a later copyright on it. This guy I got back in 2009. So this is the 90s set. There are over, there are almost 40, or there are 40 different molds, if you don't even care about the copyrights, 40 different molds for Star Wars so far I guess it's more because there's more boba coming and you've got another tin coming out with uh, uh, some of the folks from the Mandalorian. But Boba Fett, C-3PO, uh, so two colors, C-3PO in uh, gold and crystal and extra gold. You got Chewie, 
You've got a clone trooper who doesn't really belong in this set. You've got Darth Vader in black, shiny black, and crystal. You can go with a stand or not. You've got one Ewok, one Luke Skywalker, one Princess Leia. You've got two, probably three different Stormtrooper paint jobs. And then you've got Yoda in two different greens plus a crystal. And then if you start counting stem variations and copyright variations, you'll probably lose your mind. But this, again, is the beginning of Star Wars.